Hello everyone, welcome to Green Life Studies. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I hope this channel will be useful for you if you want to become a full stack data professional. I started with SQL and its problem series. Very soon I'll come up with a new technology series as well. I really welcome you all to give me a few suggestions and feedback regarding my teaching style. I will definitely work on it to make it more understandable for everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you a very important information regarding a database tool. Everyone call it as universal database tool, that is DBUR. The reason behind I'm sharing this information because of my most of my audience are not even aware about this database. As I conducted a survey few days back, you can see here, most of them are not even aware of this database and just 6% of them are using now. So if once they started using this database, they will definitely make this as their favorite one because of its features and the flexibilities. And now you can see here, this is the interface that it looks like. And this is the by default one uh, that is providing to us. Once if you download and install, that is SQLite. This is a uh, database. Now you can download this from internet. It is available as free community version as free. You can see here, it will available as free uh, DBUR community version. From this here, you can download it from here. And before that, you can see here, this is a DBUR community version. This is a pro version. This is not needed for us for now. You can see here, it is supporting our different databases. You can see here, basic supports for relational databases. See here, it is supporting MySQL, SQL Server, Postgres and other also. If you click on others, you can see here, how many are they supporting? See, supporting databases. See Athena, Apache, uh, Calcet, Avid. Uh, Avatica, see Apache Derby, Apache Drill, see here, all of them. See, all this will be supported in this one, right? Postgres, right? Oracle, all of them are will be supported in this one, okay? Now, if you want, you can download it from here. Either you, if you are using a Windows or Mac, you can choose any one, Windows, because mine is in Windows. So it will ask for locations and desktop and once if you start saving it, it will be downloaded. Okay. After downloading, you just click on the process. It will be installed. Okay. Because of I have already uh, installed the DB URL, so I'm not going to proceed. Okay. Once if you click on it, it will ask to proceed to install. Okay, select a language that is English. You can see here, if you go with the process, then it will be installed automatically, okay? See, I'm going to proceed. So it will be asking for agree, I agree. Yeah, for me, was Mahindra. Next, uh, uh, next, the locations, next. Oh, okay. Now, if you put, uh, if you press on install, it will be installed, okay? Because of I already installed, I'm not going to proceed, right? Now, if you see here, This is the interface looks like after you install by default, you will get a database that is by default database SQL, right? This is a database directly in this database. We have different tables. Okay. The interface looks like this where you are going to write a SQL queries. Okay. And also one more thing here, here you can see here connection symbol. If you press on this one, you can able to see a lot of databases, right? Okay. This is SQL by default. You will get this, right? Now here, Postgres, SQL Server, MariaDB, MySQL, Oracle, Hive, Apache, uh, Azure SQL database. Okay. Next, see many of them. Whatever you want to connect with, you can connect with from this one. You can see all of them, right? Okay. If you want to connect with Snowflake, you can also connect with Snowflake. If you want to connect with Redshift, you, you can also use Redshift. See here, whatever you want, you can uh, type here. Athena. See here, you are getting Athena. That is service from AWS, right? Okay. If you want Redshift, that we have already seen, right? Redshift. Okay. If you want to Azure services, you can connect with Azure Server, Azure SQL Server. Okay. Whatever, whatever you want to connect with, you can just click on it, press Enter. See, it will ask some credentials. Just uh, enter right credential and then finish. It will be giving. It it will be enter into that particular database. Okay. Now, if you want to connect with SQL Server also, you can connect with SQL Server. See here, I'm clicking on SQL Server, pressing next. It will be asking for uh, credentials, username and password. 
right and then uh, if you press on finish it will be uh, getting into that particular server in sql server right so likewise you can connect with any number of any number of databases at a single single interface from this interface you are going to get many see here this is one next again you will get another server this is a database okay likewise you will get a many of them if you connect whatever you want to connect all of them will be placed here okay next if you want to play with the data in any server you can see here here it is available only one so that is why here not getting any more so once if you connect with any uh, server here you will get whatever you want right so if you connect with sql server then you will get here these two sqlite and ms sql server so if you select whatever you want you will be selecting those particular uh, databases i mean database two that is sql server or mysql or postgres it will be showing like this scroll down option okay and this option is for schema and mean of for particular which database that you want to connect with or schema which you want to connect with okay likewise you are going to have uh, this one interface and one more thing here if you see here in file this all option will be same in all okay next see these are the connections whatever you want to connect with you can connect with the flexibility you know here uh, for most of data engineers are going to work on on premises and uh, in cloud right for example they are using ssms as on premise and they are going to uh, migrate the data into redshift as data warehouse then they have to use both cloud and this uh, on premise right so therefore if you started uh, working on uh, multiple databases that will be uh, different interfaces right so if you connect those two from here that is sql server and whatever that is redshift then you will get here sql server and redshift right so with the same interface you are going to play with a both that is sql server and redshift right now if you get into this you can see here we have different types of tables right now if you go with any uh, table here you will get normal these are normal right so another features are few more features that you can see here we have create a this is a just a simple feature right now you can see here or uh, all these things okay now one more thing next you can see a view diagram that is entity relation diagram right so this is the table and this table we have different columns with this table there is any connection with another table or not right this is the album table right so there is a connection between a track and artist and album right so on the basis of see here which one that is from album to track there is a album id connection okay now if you see here there is a artist id so you can use i mean you can able to understand directly okay next i mean these uh, features are also available in other databases as well okay now you can see here another thing like uh, generate sql this is the most important one you can see here if you want to have if you want to have a create statement then you can see uh, press on ddl you will get create statements okay next likewise you can import the data or export the data from this one also as uh, other databases okay the most important feature that you can see here you can connect with any number of databases at a time and you can use them with the same interface not in different ones okay now if you if you start writing sql queries where you are going to write you need to have a script right so you are going to have a new script click on new script now you can see here we have a script right you can name this as anything okay now here i'm going to use see uh, by default it's a database right so i'm not going to use anything because of sql it is a by default it's a database right now here otherwise if you connect with any server then you have to select with any particular schema or database okay here i'm going to uh, retrieve the data from select start from i'm going to write a data select start from uh, album okay now if you see here we have execute query now you can see here right this is the data okay similarly whatever uh, you want to uh, you want to retrieve you can write all queries here and just click on execute okay likewise if you want to add few more then you can see here new script it will be added another way. okay i hope you understand this one just a uh, briefing about uh, this uh, database okay once if you start using this database uh, it will definitely uh, helpful for you okay and thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share thank you